guys, happy Friday. Today we are doing a roundup of all of the products that I would consider to be disruptive Instagram products that I have discovered because I was advertised to on Instagram and it was some company that at the time I had never heard of and I ended up just kind of taking the bait, biting the bullet and buying it and trying it and what I ended up thinking about those products kind of in the long run. These products and these purchases span the last three years of my channel probably and all to very differing results. So guys, let's go ahead and jump in and start talking about some of these weird and wild and interesting products. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a follow up on my real thoughts on uh, Billy. Now that I've been using this for a while, I've been using it for two months. I just got the email reminder that they're sending me a, another package of razors and I should really censor this razor because it is very used and, and not very attractive. But if you are at all unfamiliar with the concept here, Billy is a mail order razor service for women. We all know that men have had Dollar Shave Club for a long time. They did try to expand their repertoire to include women, which I think is perfectly fine. But Billy decided to kind of go the same route and focus just on, you know, feminine whatever. One of the big selling points here, again, I will just stick an image of it on the screen because you don't want to see my razor up close. It has kind of a moisture barrier, wow. a huge moisture barrier barrier around the the razor itself and the razor has five blades on it which is you know a very expensive type of razor to buy at the drugstore i was using disposables that had two blades on them i will say that this is a much closer much more comfortable shave that lasts longer but the razors actually last longer i only get four razor heads per two months now i'm not the hairiest person in the world i got lucky on my eyebrows and my legs are rather pretty hairy but i don't have to keep up with it that often because my hair's not that dark so i do i probably shave every like four days or so and this razor really has lasted and not given me any razor burn or anything like that even only switching my razor out every two weeks i know that's kind of a lot it's sort of unbelievable let me know if that's like unhealthy for some reason and i can increase the frequency of my ordering but it's nine dollars every time that they deliver it to you i feel like they have solved for something that i never knew i thought was an inconvenience I definitely got in the habit of just buying razors in bulk, which is really wasteful. So this is the shaving cream that, it doesn't come with it, but it's made by this company and they'll send you a sample of it when you order the razors. I just went ahead and sprung for it. This is $8. And it is not an aerated shaving cream. It doesn't have the fluff to it. It doesn't ever like foam up. It's more just like a really gentle, creamy soap that sticks to your legs really nicely. I will say that the first impression I had of this razor was that it was slimy. It does come with a lot of aloe between this product and this product. And so when the water first hits it, it gets a little slimy. They did just email me, and they probably emailed everybody, I know they emailed everybody, and said that they are changing a little bit of the formula of that creamy area around the razor head. So I'll be interested to see kind of what happens there, whether it's still just a slimy, but the slime factor only lasted through the first like two shaves or something. And then it just turns into a really, really comfortable shave. My friend Leslie uses these and she told me she doesn't even bother with a shaving cream with them because that outer area around the razor blades is just so effectively emollient. It does a really good job. So like under my arms and stuff, I don't really use the shaving cream because that, that area is so soft anyway around the razor that it, it pretty much does the job. So all in all, I would say that this solved for an issue I didn't know I had, which I think is the point of a disruptive product on Instagram or that's getting advertised to you on your social media platforms. I would say that the ones, you know, there are ones that I haven't bought, like the uh, the shower cap and things like that. And I remember commenting something like, is this the last industry that's left to be disrupted at this point? And I think they commented back like, yep. And so I do admire the kind of like startup mentality of taking something and solving for it and making it kind of a monthly delivery and things like that. Because a lot of this stuff, like I said, I wasn't really taking into consideration the ingredients that were in a lot of my products or the amount of waste that I was creating. And this just really solves for that. And I really appreciate that. Again, it's $9. <laughs> oh, the next thing, you guys, this is kind of a sore spot for me. I actually have these in the short and the long. This is actually a product that originated on Shark Tank. It is called the Sleep Styler. And I made a video using the short rollers when I first started doing very frequent videos, when I first like jumped into this with both feet and decided I wanted my channel to, to grow. Okay, bye. I, this was one of the first things that I tested and I got so much, I'm not even gonna lie, idiotic pushback on that video. A bunch of people telling me that I did it wrong because these are the short rollers. <laughs> a lot of people were used to seeing kind of the longer rollers 
and they ended up with these kind of long barrel curls. These, the instructions, you know, tell you for short and thin hair to roll them like a regular roller and have them sit on top of your head and you try and sleep like that. So then all of the comments were just, you did it wrong, you did it wrong, you did it wrong. It was my first time ever getting just this tsunami of negativity on my channel. So it is just kind of like a rite of passage for me. Just like Emily said in her follow-up Emily edit video recently, she said it's not about being right, it's just about being understood. I feel like I was not understood with these. I felt like I got done making that video and I was just not understood that these were a different set of instructions than the other ones. So I did end up following up on that video with the long ones. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys I didn't like either one. It doesn't work with my hair texture. My hair texture is really fine. You could wet it and just have it set in the wrong spot ever so slightly, just ever so slightly, and have it just dry that way. My hair dries really, really fast because there's just not much of it. And it will keep that crimp forever until I wash my hair again. It's very obedient. And so there is no margin of error for rolling something against my scalp or rolling something and having it sit down against the rest of my hair. There's no margin of error where my roots are going to just kind of like smooth themselves out when I unroll that roller. I'm gonna pull the roller out and it's going to show every nuanced detail of where anything touched my hair while it was wet. I got so much pushback in the comments from people being like, your hair was too wet, your hair wasn't wet enough, you should have left your roots dry. And at the end of the day, I can style my hair with a curling iron or a flat iron in a fraction of the time that this would take with a fraction of the discomfort. So this, while the sleep styler works really well for people who have very coarse hair, it actually works well, I think, to straighten out coarser hair that has a tighter curl. This doesn't work for my hair texture. End of story. All right, so next let's talk about hair, hair products. I know for a fact that my hair kind of sucks. I am professionally trained at doing hair. I was a professional hairstylist for eight years in a previous life. And a lot of people say, in fact, it's kind of the running joke that people go to cosmetology school to learn how to fix their own hair because they're so frustrated with it. And my hair remains frustrating. It really has no weight to it. And at any length, I have to style the crap out of it to get it to do anything that makes sense. And it just involves a lot of product and a lot of damage and a lot, it's just, I have very frustrating hair. It likes to get really brassy. I don't even want, I just, I'm also gluten intolerant, so I have to get everything gluten free. I do think that like Pureology, phenomenal, phenomenal product, but it has gluten all the way through it and it makes my psoriasis go crazy. Anyway, so a while back I bit the bullet on Function of Beauty and this has worked pretty well for me. I will say that Function of Beauty is a little bit drying and a little bit over clarifying. So if you've ever used a clarifying shampoo, it's what you use to kind of pull color out of your hair or pull buildup out of your hair or discoloration or anything like that that you might get from hard water. And this does, it's so simple and the ingredients are so pure that you end up a lot of times probably not getting as gentle, I think, of a shampoo as you might get from some of the things that actually have more weird chemicals in them, if that makes sense. I have used a lot of shampoo in my day, <laughs> having been a hairstylist for a really long time. And while I don't think that this is a perfect product, it's the best thing that I've found for getting my hair clean. Like I get out of the shower and my hair is clean. And the conditioner is not the most conditioning thing in the world. I've tried tons of variations of their formula over the years because I have been using this for years. And you can tweak your formula every time you kind of reorder it. I do like it, but I end up leaning on the Amica hair mask, the, the Cure hair mask, pretty much daily to kind of keep my hair from just being this really weird kind of radiating frizz ball. You wouldn't think of my hair as being frizzy, but my hair is really frizzy. It's very interesting. So I do have to use something that's like emollient in order to make it have a little bit of weight to it, but not so much that it makes it gummy. And the word gummy brings me to my next product. So I decided that I was going to try pros for a month or what have you and compare it to Function of Beauty because they were really the first two, to my knowledge, of these disruptive shampoo conditioner products that put you through a survey and then have you presented with your ideal formula. And then they send you your ideal formula and it's different from everybody else's formula. It's supposed to be perfectly tailored for your hair. I ended up with Color Extend Outdoor Athlete Gluten and Silicone Free Shampoo. First of all, 
I do not think that you should have to specify that you want a hair product, especially a shampoo, to be silicone free. I understand using a silicone in any kind of smoothing product for anti-frizz or anything like that. There should not be silicone in your shampoo or your conditioner. So the fact that I had to specify that, that they let you specify that, to me is just kind of flawed logic to begin with, but that's just kind of one of those like closely held beliefs for me as a hairstylist. I have ended up cutting off so much hair that has been completely bogged down with bad emollients like silicone on people's hair. Silicone is a really great smoother, but it shouldn't be just kind of included in every shampoo and conditioner. Like I shouldn't have to opt out, <laughs> I guess, but I do like that they did give me the ability to be gluten-free, which is very important for me. I also went for their conditioner and I also sprung for their hair mask because I wanted it to be an apples to apples comparison between what I was using with the Function of Beauty and the Amika hair mask with a hair mask from Pros so that it was somewhat scientific, you know, somewhat apples to apples. I hate this. I rarely just hate a product. I hate this product. It feels awful. It doesn't condition your hair. I've used it probably three times. It's supposed to be used, you know, once a week or something. It's supposed to be very replenishing. It is not replenishing. It doesn't have any kind of creaminess to it. It doesn't make your hair feel soft. It makes it feel really rubbery. And then when it's dry, it all sticks together, just clumps together. And my hair is greasy by morning. If I wash my hair at night and I use that, and I have tried to get it all out of my hair. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and like, oh, I must just be leaving it in my hair. I must not be getting it all out. No, I don't have greasy hair, you guys. I have dry hair, dry scalp. It doesn't result in greasy roots usually. These products, including the shampoo, including the conditioner, but mainly, oh my God, this hair mask, gross. It made my hair feel like absolute gummy bears. Like it was just, I would try and run my hands through my hair and it would get about halfway down and it would all just be like clumped together unacceptable. So this is an extremely expensive product compared to Function of Beauty. I think you get these, you get two of these huge things from Function of Beauty for like $46. This, the shampoo, this little baby shampoo, little baby conditioner, and this hair mask that I will never use were like $90. I think it was like $100 of shipping. And I know that I could probably tweak my formula, but the whole idea is not that I become a master of my formula or that I spend $90 every time I need to tweak my formula. It should be that you take a survey and you get it right. Like that should be the purpose of something like this and it just doesn't work. So this was a huge pass for me and a huge waste of money. <laughs> I do not have it up here with me. I will pop a picture of it on the screen, but I want to talk to you guys about Curology. This is not a sponsored video from anything that I'm mentioning in this video, but I do see a lot of Curology commercials. Uh, Emma Chamberlain and a few other people are kind of doing these commercials on YouTube. I want to assure you that this is not a Curology commercial. I started using Curology right after my first chemical peel about seven, six months ago. And oh my God, you guys, it really works. I did get a kind of a warning from someone in my comments. She was like, you shouldn't be using uh, clindamycin on your skin because it's an antibiotic or something but you guys I don't know I, I've been using it it's incredible it keeps my acne gone Curology if you're unfamiliar it's another one of those you go in you take a survey on all of the things that you have ever tried on your skin all of your issues all the things that you're trying to solve for and an actual clinician writes you a prescription for a skincare product that is perfectly tailored to your skin and it works. I have no acne and it is fantastic. I am obsessed. So I have also really changed my whole skincare routine. I did put up a skincare video a couple weeks ago, like called all the secrets behind my skin. Watch that if you're interested in my entire routine, but Curology changed my life. And I think it's only like 40 bucks every two months. So I think that that's one of those disruptive products that really works. And I'm really, really excited that I found it. Another one, and this is kind of a story. You guys may or may not remember, but this is Dirty Lemon. And this is actually the Dirty Lemon Collagen and it's sweating all over the place because I had it up here for a minute and I'm gonna have do it really good. So, one of the things that happened to me with Dirty Lemon, after I first tried it, after I made my video where I reviewed this particular one, the Plus Collagen, I ran across an ad of myself on Instagram. <laughs> unflattering screenshot of my face doing one of those kind of 
unsure grimaces that I tend to do in my videos. I don't know. People, like, when they want to hate on me, they either pick my teeth being a different color on the bottom or the ugly faces that I make. But they screenshotted one of those ugly faces that I make and they used it as an ad for Dirty Lemon. Granted, it was leading to my video, but they didn't ask my permission. It wasn't like it was leading to their website. It was actually just a link. Like they were promoting my video, which is kind of cool, which I was a little bit conflicted about. And I even talked to Leanne about it. I was like, what do I do here? And she's like, honestly, nothing. It's, you know, they're, they're sending traffic to your video. Like who cares? But I did end up just kind of being a little bit weirded out by it. And so I reached out to them and I was like, hey guys, do you want to do this right? Do you want to like collab in a planned way? <laughs> and so they did answer me back and they were like, yeah, sorry, our bad, like let's collab. And so they ended up sending me a bunch of free drinks to try. And I made a video that they now use on their Facebook ads where I am talking about my favorites. And I think that that was a really good kind of agreement for us because it was very easy for me to talk about these drinks that I love. I was already a paying subscriber getting these every month and they text you, which is kind of cool. They're like, hey, we're packing up your shipment. Do you want to change anything? And you can be like, yeah, like this month I want to go with collagen instead of CBD, which I had been getting CBD for the last few months. I really like the CBD formula. I've also tried the Rose, the Charcoal Detox, I've never tried the matcha or the ginseng just because I don't need energy. <laughs> I need sleep. Um, but they do have a sleep formula, but I don't like to drink a lot of liquid before I go to bed. I don't know. And so those are the ones that I have not tried, but then also there is the Vogue and I like the Vogue a lot too. So anyway, I have really integrated this into my monthly routine. I get these shipped to me once a month. When you're VIP, it's $45 for six of them, which is not cheap. I will admit that's not cheap. But this collagen formula is extremely effective. The charcoal formula, keep it on hand if you're a drinker. I'm not a drinker as much, but if you are the kind of person who uh, maybe has a couple glasses of wine and you're just like, ooh, this is starting to kind of wear on me or whatever, like I don't need to tell you guys like why you might need to detox, but it is actually really effective if you drink it before bed at keeping you from being hung over the next day, which is really, really cool. And then the CBD is actually a relaxation formula. If you guys <laughs> are new here, you might not know that I really like CBD oil. It's phenomenal for anxiety. It's phenomenal for anti-inflammatory. And I just really swear by it from a clear headed standpoint. It's very good for clarity. I don't care who you are, we could all use a little bit more clarity. So those are all of the different ones that they have. I do highly recommend them and they are not, I don't have like an affiliate code with them or anything like that. They don't do discounts. They will do, if you get on their email list, they will do like, you know, buy three, get one or something like that. If you're really wanting to spend like, you know, $150 on something today, I just get it delivered to me once a month. It's a really good kind of restart. And then I can kind of tweak it every time. So yes, I still subscribe to this. Yes, I still love it. Okay. Two more things. One, I have to throw it to thrive. This was one of the first things that I ever bought as like a disruptive Instagram product. I had no idea that Thrive was going to end up being what it is in my life. This was on my Instagram, thrown up as the most amazing mascara you'll ever use in your life. It was just among all of these other makeup items on my Instagram feed, claiming to be the best thing since sliced bread of that particular makeup item type. And I was just in a buying mood. I was like, all right guys, we're trying stuff. We're really gonna go for it on this YouTube channel. I wanna be like, on the bleeding edge of what's coming out. And so I spent $24 on a frigging mascara, which is something I had never done before in my entire life. I paid shipping for it. I was like, this thing is really freaking expensive. It better blow my mind. And it blew my mind. And I made a video about it that is, we talked about this, not my best video. I forgot to actually show me putting it on in the video and I didn't think it was gonna blow up but that video blew up and everybody's like, this is the stupidest video in the world, what did I just watch? And I was like, I know. But I've also heard from so many subscribers, they're like, this is how I found you. And I found this video and then I watched more of your Thrive videos and I was able to get the information that I needed and I appreciate you guys so much. That first video sucked, <laughs> I totally admit that. But yes, this is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This started my Thrive addiction, which led to my Thrive relationship and this, you know, ongoing kind of part of my channel. I stand by this brand and this product so wholeheartedly. I'll be wearing this at my wedding. I bought it for my bridesmaids. My mother uses it. It is just the best. It is just the best. And I, I had to mention it because I found this on Instagram and it was just this 
moment's thought and it ended up being this amazing whole thing in my life. And finally, if you guys didn't watch my skincare video or if you're just kind of, you know, not sick of hearing about it, I guess, I also discovered Mother Dirt on Instagram. I mean, my fiance talked about it to me and then of course, you know, they're listening. <laughs> so they heard probably my fiance talking about it. And then I got advertised on Instagram to try this. So I did some reading on it. I read a bunch of articles on this. This is the Mother Dirt AO Plus Mist for face and body. And I've been using this for over a year now. And I can't even tell you guys <laughs> what a difference this stuff makes in, in your skin. Like I said, I read a bunch of articles about it where people were really giving the whole regimen a go, like not showering and using just this on all of their sweaty areas and just seeing what happens. Because that is really the claim behind this product is that it's going to give you the ability to let your bacteria work for you instead of having to just squeaky clean yourself all the time. It contains what they're calling AO+, which is a bacteria that our bodies used to produce, but it doesn't produce enough of anymore that helps be a peacekeeper to the other bacteria that we might come in contact with on our skin. And it keeps us from breaking out. It keeps us from smelling bad. It keeps us from getting fungus and things like that from sweaty clothes or just sitting in a bathing suit, you know, an athlete's foot or a ringworm or anything like that. This helps immensely keep those kinds of things at bay, especially if you are very active, like athletically active. And so I use this mainly on my face. I will put it under my arm sometimes if I, like, I'm not gonna shower that night and I'm just like, ah, oh, man, I really should shower, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I will put this under my arms just to make sure that things aren't like horrible and I have to wash my sheets in the morning kind of thing. So it really, really works. It does an amazing job at making you not smelly and it does an amazing job. I don't know if you guys hmm, have noticed if you've been following my channel for a while, I used to have so much acne right here. This skin, according to my esthetician, is extremely deep skin, like very thick skin on your chin and kind of around your mouth. And mine was just layers and layers and layers deep with acne. And among all the other things that I've done, again, watch that skincare video because chemical peels are a godsend, but this has helped so much with that bacterial acne that comes from food around your mouth or lip products or just touching your face. This is going to give you that insurance over the course of the day, last thing you put on after all of your makeup, or overnight, last thing you put on. You don't want to move it around after you put on your skincare and everything. It will keep those things from occurring, which is so nice. Again, these are just insurance policies. I love a good insurance policy on my skin. I love waking up to better skin. So I hope that I haven't forgotten anything. I buy a lot of stuff on the internet. <laughs> so. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything that you guys were hoping to see in this video that I forgot to mention. And if there's anything that you guys, like I said, are getting advertised to on your social media channels and you would really like to see whether they're all they're cracked up to be. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are seeing because actually it was Carrie who uh, first told me about Function of Beauty. They were not actually getting advertised to me in the beginning. So thank you guys for all that you do in keeping me informed and abreast of all the new stuff coming out. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for follow-ups on these products for a long time. So guys, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. I hope you guys had a phenomenal week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.